Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be testing out a new concealer because your girl loves concealer. Okay, because I'm very insecure about my under eye situation. Why do I feel like I'm waving down a plane doing this right now? Okay, so today we're testing out the new Urban Decay Quickie Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. Did we need the sexual name? No, but this is a replacement for their Stay Naked Concealer. They have discontinued. You can still find some at Nordstrom Rack, I believe. But yeah, this is what we're reviewing today. This was actually very hard to get. If you saw my Unfiltered Opinions video, I did talk about it already. But this is supposed to be a 24-hour wear concealer full coverage moment. It has the regular wand in here to apply it to your face. You also have the option at the top of this brush to buff it onto your skin if you don't have a brush or sponge handy. I don't know why it needed to be included, but it is. This is $33. I purchased it through Ulta and uh, <laughs> it was $33. Now this is more expensive than the staple go-to full coverage concealer, which is going to be the shape. Table comes in at $29. Uh, so this is $33. I think the brush may have increased the price of it. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see if this is actually going to be a 24 hours of wear look to it. If it's actually going to be full coverage to it. And I do have dry skin in case you're wondering like what I'm applying it to. I have dry skin. It's definitely more on the dry side right now because the weather is uh, fluctuating so drastically like it's 40 degrees this morning and it's going to be 80 degrees on Thursday like my skin's going through with all the rough changes so yeah I do have dry skin applying it to that but this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer I have the shade 10 and in which is the lightest shade because the other shades that I thought would work better for me were not in stock so this is what we're testing out today before we do get started I do want to give a quick shout out to my small business TheOpenCrypt.com. I do have a bunch of new things up there as well as restocks, including the toe bead stud earrings. Those are back in stock. I also have these beautiful purgatory earrings, which are so fancy and elegant and pretty um, for a very reasonable price. All sensitive skin and hypoallergenic friendly. Sensitive skin friendly, hypoallergenic, you know, hand assembled. And let's go ahead and get started. If you want to check my small business as we get started, I'd appreciate it. But let's try on this concealer for this short and sweet concealer review. All right, prepping my face now so we could try this on. I'm using the Cool as a Cucumber from Ofra. I'm running low on it, so I have to take the thing out to put it on my face. Probably not the most sanitary thing in the world, but I'm trying to use it up. I think the next video you're gonna see from me, possibly, I'm thinking about doing a product pan for the year. I've never done one before. Obviously, I finished up a bunch of products. I have a ton of empties I need to like film with because I've, I've used up a lot of things. But I think I wanna try to do a project pan and just see how it goes for me, just for something new for this year. Um, so, yeah. I wanna be less wasteful this year. I meant to do a video, well, I filmed one, but I didn't like how it came out about like my goals for 2023 and what's going on with my channel and everything. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that, but then I didn't like how the video came out, so it never happened. And now I feel like it's almost a month into January. It'd be kind of late now to talk about it. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use a pretty fresh from ColourPux. This is my tried and true. And like, I know how this performs and I don't want any varying factors in testing out this concealer. The last concealer I tried out, that Ofra one, I did not like at all, even though I tested out two different colors. It just was not a formula I liked. So I want to give, I'm, I'm hoping for the best results with this one, even though it seems like Urban Decay didn't want people to know about it. Like I told you guys in my last Unfiltered Opinions video that this was a fiasco to get. A fiasco. And then a lot of you guys commenting were like, yeah, people in stores don't know what you're talking about and all kinds of things. And even... When I posted that, it wasn't even available on their site anymore. Like when I originally went on Urban Decay's site the day it launched to get it, there was no add to cart button and some of the shades were already sold out. Even the ones that were available, you couldn't add to cart. And then they said, it's also available at Nordstrom, but when you go on Nordstrom the day it launched, like <laughs> it was already no longer available and getting it at Ulta, when I ordered mine, it didn't say anything about like, Oh, it comes out this certain date, but now when you go up there, it says it comes out the 26th, but like, then how did I already get it through Ulta? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Something about this launch was extremely weird, which makes me like a little bit like, ooh, maybe it's bad and they don't want people to like really register that it's bad with a bad launch. I don't know, but I'm, I'm hoping for the best because I really want to love it. Also, I don't have any fingernails on today and my hands are extremely tan compared to my face and body, um, but 
yeah, that's fine. So let's talk about the actual concealer unit before I put it on. So the Naked Quickie, haha, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> not even funny up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer it has a brush on the top you can use people kept screaming bacteria in the comments when they first announced this product um but you can wash this like it's not impossible to wash you can wash it and also the other option i can't get it open i cannot get this thing open i can't get it open but one thing i just noticed is that the bottom label is very weird i wonder if it's it's smooth right so it's this is how the, the sticker was printed but I wonder if this was a different concealer and then they put this weird label on the bottom to cover up the original name of the concealer. Because look at the label, right? Like, do you think this used to have the old, sh the old concealer name? Like, the Stay Naked or whatever concealer? And they just reused the stickers by putting the sheet back in the printer and blacking it out? Because that's a weird way to label your, <laughs> to label your shade. So you have the option of the brush and you also have the option of the wand. Issue is, I can't get it open. Okay, I got it open, it was extremely hard. So I'm gonna do one side with the regular wand applicator. I'm gonna apply just what I think I need. Okay, so it's on both sides. Like I said, for this side, I'm gonna apply it like normal. I'm gonna use my regular sponge and I will use this Buffet thing on this side. So let's start off with the sponge, which is regular. It's thick, I will say, when I blend it, it a lot grabs onto the sponge, but it doesn't blend away from my face. Like it stays thick, which means it's probably gonna keep its coverage, which is nice. I don't know its coverage yet. It does blend easily, so I've already blended it over my entire eye area because I'm not gonna use an eyelid primer today. So this is what it looks like. I don't think the coverage is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think it's very brightening, but like it is texture. Ooh, hold on. It is texture city right here. I don't know if you, the screen looks so bright. I don't even, we can tell it is texture city over here. Like I am seeing every bit of texture I've ever had in my entire life. And now let's take this buff it thing. I'm going to buff just the little spots out and my under eyes. This brush isn't very, it doesn't have like a tip on it, right? So it makes it very hard to get into that very inner crevice of my eye. Okay, so I hate the brush. I feel like it's too, um, it, it, it like really gives a lot. And when you want a foundation brush, you want it kind of to stay where you want it, so I'm just gonna little places, tap over it with a sponge. And I'm gonna do two layers of the concealer on the sponge side, and we'll see if it like really helps the coverage any. But like, I just see how, I guess, wrinkly my skin looks. Just shows every bit of texture with this. Maybe when I add powder to it, it'll kind of settle down and look more smooth. I love the color of the brighteningness of it, especially when I do a tinted powder on top, it kind of just dulls my face down anyways. So I feel like when I have a brightening concealer, it's nice. I didn't need the lightest shade. This is the lightest shade. I didn't need this color shade. Uh, but the other one that I thought would fit me better has been sold out. I don't even know if it ever launched, truly. Because again, I was trying to get this right at launch and I couldn't find it anywhere. Okay, it's creasing a little bit under my eye fold. I'm just gonna lightly tap that away. Here's my under eyes. Do we see all the texture? Like I see a lot. So let's set it with powder now. Okay, I have setting powder on my sponge and I'm going to set under eye concealer. This is a tinted setting powder. It gives me a little more honeyness under my eyes instead of just the stark white the concealer does. So I don't think my face is gonna be as brightening, but we will see. Definitely would have to set this with a powder, even if you don't set it with a sponge. Um, I will say this does crease, but the majority of concealers do. Um, this one isn't the worst I've ever seen. And I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face before we like examine my under eyes. And if you guys are interested in the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Fancy Foundation, I did review it. It was probably like one of the biggest failure videos on my channel. 
Um, because I, I feel like people want makeup reviews because it makes it more searchable to get views and everything. But that one kind of failed. So if you missed it and you want to see it, uh, I did review it. It was interesting to say the least, especially for that price tag. All right, here is my face set with powder and the concealer and everything. I will say I don't think my under eyes look terrible now that they're set. I don't see like any great effects. I feel like it did do a significant amount, especially with some of my undertones. I feel like it really covered that. I don't color correct because a lot of concealers are so good. I don't have to, you know? <laughs> um, I will say I do see the texture. Like I feel really textury under here. Like I just feel like I see everything. I feel like it just clung onto my texture instead of like smoothing and just going over my texture. I feel like it kind of sank into it. So yeah, there's that. I will go ahead and finish up my face. I'll be right back. And then maybe I'll get a better idea with how I like it. I feel like once my face is done, I'll be able to tell better. I don't know why. I just feel like I feel like I see myself in my mind's eye with a full face of makeup on, not like this. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I have to say I do like it a lot more now that my face is done. Um, so here is what the concealer's looking like under my eyes. I still feel like it does look like kind of textured, but my face is dry, so I'm not like, oh my god, there's texture, you know? So my face already has that, and it's natural. Um, but with my face done, I feel like my eyes aren't focused in and zoomed in on that little bit of texture it shows. I feel like the coverage is nice. Is it flawless, perfect shape tape level of coverage? No, it's a little less than that. It is closer to the KVD Good Apple, but a little bit of a thicker consistency to that. So I like it. I will not be using the brush though. The brush is a gimmick and I feel like it makes the concealer more expensive when it doesn't need to be. The brush is, like people have foundation brushes they want them, they have sponges if they want them. I do like how it blurs out, blends out. I just wish that they had actually released all the colors at launch so I could have the right shade, but it's fine. Um, I do like it though. Like, okay, so you can see like, my eyes are inset obviously, but you can still see some discoloration but honestly, it's not bad. Um, but for the price tag, I guess I would like a little more coverage because it is $33 for this concealer. But when I look at my makeup, I like how it looks. So yeah, that's my analysis. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think of this concealer down below. Like it's not flawless, especially for the price tag, but I will get my use out of it, you know, especially because I'm running low on other concealers. So I will be getting my use out of it. But if I had other concealers to choose from, I'm not sure this would be like my go-to everyday one. But at least when I do have a little bit of discoloration showing like this, but it covers up a lot of the blue or purple I have coming through, it does look more natural on my skin. Even though natural doesn't look I'm going for at all. But thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think down below. You can assess the concealer on my face for yourself. And I will see you later. Have a lovely day, guys, and be safe out there. Okay, bye.